Here are the sportsman cars for their feature of the evening on the pole. And the Eddie Shoemaker car number 32 for Mobile, Chad Robinson. Outside of the front row, multi-winner and multi-champion for Mobile. Number eight is B.J. Latham. Starting in roll two, we got the McDonald family. Starting on the inside, we got the number 19. That's Daryl McDonald the third. Starting in fourth, we got the number 29. That's Parker McDonald, both of them out of Theodore. Back in the third row inside from Sarah Land, the veteran 41 driver is Bo Martin. And talk about a veteran from Irvington. Outside of the third row, number one is Howard Langham. And rounding out the field in row four, the number four, that's Sam McDaniel. He's from Theodore as well. A 25 lap feature tonight for the Mon Louis Island Marine Construction Sportsman Division. Because of the bonus boost from Johnny's RV, this race pays $900 in the entire purse, an additional $1,000 from Johnny Bowen at Johnny's RV. Flagman showing one to go to our sportsman division next time by. We should be green flag racing. Chad Robinson, who was the fast qualifier and drew the pole, won the race back here in March on March the 30th. Ready to go with the Monterey Island Sportsman. Fourth turn. This is a 25-lap battle. Here we go. And green flag is out. We got Parker McDonald on the back bumper. B.J. Latham going into turn one. Two by two for the first two rows. Oh, we got Daryl McDonald a little sideways after a little contact from the back bumper of Chad Robinson. He got into it just a little bit and got himself sideways. He's now falling back to the sixth position after that in turn two. As we got Parker McDonald to the inside of B.J. Latham, Latham coming out of turn four, trying to take away that second position. Parker McDonald still to the inside of B.J. Latham in turn two, still trying to fight for that second position. While that's going on, Chad Robinson's running away a little bit from these other two cars as they still battle out coming out of turn four, Bill. What a great battle for second spot. The veteran B.J. Latham. And a winner earlier this year at Pensacola, Parker McDonald, the younger of the McDonald brothers. That's the battle for second and third. After all that fiasco with the lap one bump to the back of Chad Robinson and Daryl McDonald falling back to fifth position right now, that allowed the veteran Howard Langham to sneak up to fourth position right now, just coasting along. It looks like B.J. Latham and Parker McDonald has, has settled out their battle for now as B.J. is taking that second position with Parker right behind him. We'll see what they can do to see if they can eat away the, we, uh, the lead that Chad Robinson has on them two right now coming off turn four. Across the stripe, looks like Chad Robinson still has about a seven-tenths lead over BJ going down the back straightaway. Let's we'll see what he can do to eat that lead away. Well, the first three anyway, pretty much equally separated, maybe four or five car lengths between your leader right here, Chad Robinson, in second place, B.J. Latham. Same distance back to third place, Parker McDonald, who would like to get his second feature race win of the season. Yeah, Bill, that time by, B.J. was able to eat about a tenth of a second away from Chad Robinson's lead as it come across the stripe this time. Let's see if he's able to do it again. Looks like he made up about another half a tenth there, so about another five one hundredths of a second off the lead for B.J. Latham. Back further in the field off camera right now, Parker's brother, Darrell McDonald, D3, just now getting up to Howard Langham. Would be a battle for a fifth spot. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be able to get to the inside coming off of turn four there, Bill, down the front straightaway and into turn one. He's still looking to complete that pass. Howard hanging strong on that outside as Darrell was a little sideways through one and two just then. 
still out front. Loud and proud, Chad Robinson. B.J. Latham trying to make up ground. You can see on the back straightaway, the gap is 10-12 car lengths. Yeah, absolutely, Bill. Looks like Chad Robinson was able to put another three tenths on B.J. Latham that time by, so he's gained another three tenths on the lead. A couple laps ago, B.J. was eating away at it, but Chad has found his groove, and he is adding time quickly. But that time across the stride, Bill, he was a tenth off, so B.J. ate a tenth that time by. At the start finish line, when they come by the flag stand, 10 will be complete, 15 to go. 15 more laps to settle this out. B.J. Latham still doing all he can to eat away. Chad Robinson's lead, it looks like he gained another tenth and a half that time, Bill. He's slowly doing it with 15 laps to go. Chad Robinson may have a battle for the lead with B.J. Uh, Latham here in just a second. That time by again, Bill, he was able to eat another two tenths off. He's only half a second behind now. As you can see on the screen, he is slowly eating away at that lead. B.J. Latham quickly catching and gaining the back of Chad Robinson's machine in turns three and four. As you can tell right there, he made a good gain in turn three there, Bill, going across the stripe. When they get back to the start finish line, it'll be 13 complete and 12 to go. That's the halfway signal on a 25 lap race. So we're coming to halfway, Bill, and B.J. Latham is still right there. He's gained quite a bit on Chad Robinson over the last couple laps. He is down to four-tenths of a second behind Chad Robinson. Slowly, each corner he is gaining. He is. As this race has gone on, I believe he's gotten closer. And if Chad Robinson gets those right side tires off the racetrack again, B.J. Latham's going to have a chance to get even closer. Completing lap number 15 here. That's 10 to go. Look at this. Lapping some traffic. They lap the Sam McDaniel number four, but that's going to make B.J. Latham have a chance to be even closer. Three car lengths now between 32 and eight. Absolutely, Bill. He's still gaining on him each corner, as you see right there, as he dove into turn three. He gains to the back bumper of Chad Robinson down the front straightaway. Chad's going to have a battle on his hands here in just a minute. As you see in turns one and two, he makes another gain. He is right there now, knocking on the door of Chad Robinson down the back straightaway. Just three tenths of a second that time across the stripe, but he's made up more time, as you can tell, on track. He is right there. That's it, the car length now between them. So Chad Robinson running in the middle of the racetrack. Whoa. On the back straightaway, way high up on the racetrack. B.J. Latham kind of on the low side. One car length separate them. 18 complete here, seven to go. B.J. Latham with a wiggle out of turn four that time, Bill. That may give Chad a little bit of breathing room, but not really. B.J. made that time up quickly in turns one and down the back straightaway. He is still right there after that little bit of a wiggle out of turn four. We're getting to the closing stages here. And... It's about a car length, maybe two. Latham going as hard as he can. Chad Robinson looking at B.J. in his rear view mirror. Look at that. Chad Robinson pulls out a little bit more. Three car lengths, four car lengths. When they get to the start finish line, it's five to go. Yeah, Bill, that time by Chad Robinson had put another tenth on B.J., so it went up to four tenths that time by. But this time across the stripe, it's another tenth. Chad Robinson's added another tenth. He is a half a second behind, according to our timing and scoring now. But down the back straightaway, B.J. looks like he still makes up that time each time he gets into the corner. But Chad's able to make the speed up down the straightaways to get back away from him. Completing lap 21 here, four to go. And four car lengths separate 32 and eight. A really distant third, maybe a full straightaway back in third spot is Parker McDonald. Out of camera range right now, and his brother D3 is four car lengths behind him in fourth. Absolutely, across the stripe again, it looks like 
B.J. is now seven-tenths of a second off of Chad Robinson. He is able to keep him back there. These tires may be worn out. A lot of sideways racing out there. Two to go at the strike. Absolutely. B.J. was sideways a minute ago coming out of turn four. If you remember a few laps back, that may have been the nail in the coffin for them tires for B.J. As we see two sticks in the air from the flagman, two laps to go for Chad Robinson to finish up this feature race for this evening. Looks like Chad Robinson opened up a 1.2 second lead over B.J. Latham that time by. I think B.J.'s car is all used up for this race. White flag in the air. Chad Robinson sees the white flag. He's got one more lap to come around, and he'll take this victory for this evening in the Mon Louis Island Marine Construction Sportsman Division. Down the back straightaway, Chad Robinson looking pretty steady. Nothing wrong there. B.J. is falling way behind now. Out of turn four, your winner for tonight is going to be Chad Robinson in the number 32. B.J. Latham in the number eight will finish second. And rounding out the top three is going to be Parker McDonald in the number 29. Daryl McDonald in the 19. Sideways out of turn four there finishes fourth. Howard Langham fifth in the number one. Bo Martin in the number 41 sixth. Rounding out the field in seventh is the number four of Sam McDaniel. We'll send it down to Bill Trackside here in just a second. That's a wrap. Looks like Chad Robinson is going to run down to the first turn. Maybe he'll ruin a set of tires here. Burnout coming for Chad Robinson in Eddie Shoemaker's car. Let's see if he's going to burn him up. No, I guess not. I thought he was going to ruin a set of tires, but those tires are too expensive. No burnout, just headed to victory lane with the driver's side toward everybody in the grandstand. The Mako Fabrication car for the second time this year is in victory lane. Here's Chad Robinson out of the car. Win number two this year, 25 lapper tonight. 32 gets the checkered flag. So I'll tell you what, Chad, I don't know if you saw BJ in your rear view mirror, but those last couple of laps, you pulled out. Yeah, I uh, I was trying to keep the tires under it, and I seen him come, and I was like, oh, his car's getting better than mine at the end, so it's time to go, and that was all it had. But, man, I, I love racing BJ's, clean racer. Most of the guys in this class are. We really respect our cars and don't want to work on them. And, man, I got to thank Red Dog. And Eddie Shoemaker and everybody that helps me, my mom, dad, my wife, it, it takes a village to do this. It does, and this car is always good. We'd like to see him race it more often. But two wins, does this continue all year or what? I'm hoping. <laughs> I'd like to. See, we, I told everybody that you were going to ruin four of Eddie Shoemaker's tire here and burn it out all the way down the front straightaway. I had to go up there and wave at Red Dog and everything. All right. Chad Robinson, win number two for 2024. Well, we're going to come down here and talk to second spot. And I see us. Oh, here he is. I know you pretty well, and I guarantee you, you're pretty tired of finishing second. Yeah, but congratulations to Chad. They did a good job. He just kept his tires on it, and I burnt mine off. And, uh, you know, it's... It, who's there on the 25th lap. He did a great job tonight. He saw you coming and he got going. Really, you burn these tires off in 25 laps. Is that how powerful these sportsmen are? There's nothing left of the right here. It's cords. Cords all the way down. B.J. Latham, hard charging. You heard him say it. Down to the cords on a Daryl Jackson number eight. This guy's had a great season, even though he finished P3 here. Big win in Pensacola a while ago. You got it handled in this 29, I believe. Oh, yes, sir. Like I said before, we're racing against some of the best sportsman drivers in the class. Uh, I'm just happy to be running with them. A few more races will be there with them. But uh, I want to thank McDonald Muffler, Mason, Dillon, and uh, I want to thank Mr. Rusty for getting this set of tires for me. Um, helped a lot this race. Parker McDonald, already a winner in Pensacola, third tonight 
in the Maui Island Sportsman 25 lapper. All right, we're going to bring the big guys out here next for the Battle on the Bayou number two, second part of the Gulf Coast doubleheader.